So let's talk a little bit about chest rotation and whether or not we should have our chest open at impact. Now there's a couple schools of thought here. Some would say that at impact you want to feel like your chest is facing the ball and others would say that you want to feel like your chest is more out on like a 45 or close to parallel to the golf club. Now which one of those do I prefer? Well, from the other sports that I play, I'm a baseball player, I'm not a golfer. <laughs> From the other a good golfer, come on. I'm a pretty good golfer. But from the other sports I play, at impact, when I hit a baseball, where's my chest? So you've got a parallel chest, parallel to the bat, right? Mm -hmm. I also am pretty good at tennis. When I hit a big forehand like this, my racket looks like this, my chest looks like this. When I throw something really hard, my body looks like this, my arm looks like this. Yeah. Um, you know, pretty much any game I play, if I'm looking to make the thing I'm throwing or hitting with go fast, if I'm swinging an axe at a tree like this, yeah. I hit it like that. I don't really think there's anything that I do where I hit it in that way. Now, some might like that, and there are ways to match that up, but in my opinion, it's not the optimum way to do it. You're not going to make it go as fast or be as stable. Now, we're not necessarily saying that your shoulders need to open up. It's more the chest. The shoulders are going to always kind of appear square at impact. They're going to appear square-ish. The reason for that is my shoulders, my shoulder blades and my shoulders are independent, right? Mm -hmm. So I can actually have my shoulders look very closed, but my chest is still square, right? Right. Now, I'm not the most flexible guy in the world. At impact, my shoulders are open. Yeah. My chest is open a lot. And my shoulders are open quite a lot, like 25 degrees open, and my chest is open like 50. Mm -hmm. Now, that's more than most. But I've seen measured some of the longest hitters in the world, and they look more like what I look like. Right. And then I've also seen the gears for baseball players, and they look very much like I look. So, how do you swing a stick? I yeah. I, th I think if you're swinging a stick and there's no face on it, you probably swing it and get your chest out of the way. Yeah. So Henry, I, we've got these alignment sticks here and I wanted to show everybody the very first thing, kind of how your body is moved, what the sequence is, so what opens your chest up early. Because in the beginning, you hear a lot of people talk about how you want to feel like you keep your back to the target, and I'm going to agree with that, kind of. What happens is, as you turn to the top, go ahead and turn up to the top of your swing, you can see that his pelvis has turned back significantly less than his upper body has. Now as you change directions and you start down, what happens? Well, my, my hips and lower body start to unwind prior to my chest. It's almost towing my chest along. So your hips are kind of pulling your chest along. Now does your chest actually stay closed? Because you can see here it's starting to open. No, and at this point, right when I get, I'd say, the club almost parallel to ground, or parallel to ground, I'm starting to open up that chest. At least that's what you and I are feeling, right? Sort of that unwinding. And these start to match up. Yeah, so when I arrive at impact, the difference between my pelvis, how much it's open, and my chest is only 10 degrees. Mm -hmm. At the top of my backswing, it's like 45 or 50. So the chest is gaining ground, right? It's starting to open up. So my hips are open like almost 60 degrees and my chest is open almost 50 at impact. Mm -hmm. Now that is, again, that's more than most, but I, seem to, I, I see that trend with everybody. Whether or not you get as open as I do, you see the, the gap closing. You don't see anybody arriving, or anybody who's really good, arriving at impact with their, their hips open 45 or 50 and their, their chest closed or square to the ball. Right. You know, that's, you don't see that. Maybe with little kids once in a while right. who are like Gumby. Right. I, I, to me, it's a recipe for that club face to be doing a lot of weird things. And um, for sure. I mean, at, as you said, all these other sports that we play, naturally our chest is sort of opening to the target, right? Let's kind of walk through. Do we have a golf club here? Yep. And some of you may have seen this. I did a, a drill with 
Brendan from Be Better Golf talking about how I feel like I keep the chest, my chest and the golf club parallel. And so what that looks like from this point in the golf swing, about right here, through impact, you can see my chest and the golf club are really close to parallel. Now as I turn through, at impact they're really close to parallel. It's hard to get it exactly on my chest because my shoulder's kind of yeah. retracted. But if I pulled that back, you can see my chest right. his and the button, club. Like his, the zipper and his buttons are pointing out at me right about Yeah, they're now. pointing out there at impact. Why don't you hit, pretend you're hitting out this way just so they can see it on that angle too. So, if I'm hitting that way, they're parallel here. And as I arrive at impact, you can see that if I pull my, that arm back, that's really yeah. close to parallel. Right. Okay. And that's what I feel like I'm doing when I hit the golf ball. Now, is that actually possible? Not quite. I don't quite get there because the club is starting to unload and it's mm -hmm. catching up and flying by me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have any speed. But that's my feeling. Right. And I've taught this feeling to a lot of people because most, most everybody I teach winds up yeah. with impact in this kind of a way where their chest is pointing at the ball and the club is pointing back at them. And that's kind of a scoopy not a super stable way to hit the golf ball. They tend to, players who do that tend to not be very good. So, what's right? There's a lot of ways to do it. This is what we think is the most optimal way to do it, is to have our body powering the golf club, more like we would if we are hitting a bat, right? Yeah. And again, it's not, we're not saying that you need to open up the chest from the top of the backswing. It's it's more uh, sort of the lower body and the hips unwinding and the chest follows and then it is kind of active through the, well, through the hitting area. Well, like any stretch shorten cycle, when my pelvis starts to change directions like this, it, it starts to stretch out some, they call them the ob oblique slings. It mm -hmm. stretches this stuff out and naturally it's like snapping my fingers. If I, if I create a stretch, it's going to want to unload and it unloads fast and it catches up and goes flying by, hopefully. We don't want to feel like we're like this forever. We want to go ahead and let our chest go by. Right. Right. Awesome. Yeah, great visual and uh, you know, definitely a great practice. You see a lot with these the sort of impact drill that we've shown before. Uh, same same idea. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified of our new videos that are coming out. And we'd also love to have you come on over and check us out at MiloLinesGolf.com where we can help you one-on-one -on -one to get better at your game.